Okay, so this is a uh, distance formula. The distance formula is based up on the equation d is equal to the square root of uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared. Okay? So, kind of confusing formula. All right? When you're plugging things in, it can be uh, difficult. So what I've done is restructured it so that it'll be a little bit easier. Okay? So I created this thing called flip it, smack it, rub it down. When we work with slopes, you're going to be flipping and smacking to create the slope. Okay? Um, for this, you just take it that step further. Flip it, smack it, and rub it down. Okay? So the flip and smack method, if you haven't seen it yet, is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is I take my x's, right, and I take my y's, and I flip them, okay? So I'm going to take this x and put it down here. I always keep my y's on top, because when you deal with slope, y is always on top, okay? So it, it just kind of gets you in the same area, all right? So if you do the same thing over and over and over again, things get kind of uh, easier. So when I flip this, I just have 5 over negative 4. And when I flip this, I've got 1 over negative 1. Okay. So I have my x's on the bottom and my y's on top, right? And they're in order. Okay. So these are my 1's and these are my 2's. Okay. When I smack, so that's the flip. Okay, the smack it. The smack it is you smack it on the top and you smack it in the bottom. Okay, basically I taught my daughters on the way to school when they're kindergarten. Okay, I'm taking them to school maybe someday. Um, they're walking home alone or with their sister. Um, somebody grabs you from behind. You flip around. You smack them once in the throat. You smack them once in the groin. And you run. Okay? One's high, one's low. Get out of there. Okay? Well, you know, it's just the way it goes. You know, what happens here is um, lets you realize, okay, I need two smacks. One up top, one down below. Just remember, always two. You're going to get out. Okay? Now, so that's a flip it. That's a smack it. Then we've got to rub it down. Okay? <clears throat> Being a wrestling coach, we rub down our wrestlers all the time. Get them ready for the match. When you rub down someone, you've got different body parts. Right? So we've got how many arms? Two. Two. So we got two arms. I got four. Okay? I got two legs. I got a head. And I've got a body. Right? And so each one of these things has something tied to it. My arms. Two of them. My arms. Two of them. Okay? My legs. Two of them. My legs, two of them, okay? My head, one head, one head, okay? And my body, this big square root thing. And that's your distance formula, that's it. And students who follow this method tend to do really well with the distance formula. Okay, students who want to plug it into that formula up there, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 minus x sub 1, especially a lot of students have what I have. I have dyslexia. So it's very difficult for people with dyslexia to plug in formulas. So we have to find methods for us to do it. Right? So that we, because when we see things backwards, we plug them in backwards. When you plug it in backwards, you get it wrong. Then you think you're stupid. You're not stupid, you're just plugging it in wrong. Okay? Your math is normally correct. But when you plug it in wrong, you're going to get the answer wrong, right? That's the way it is. So, 
just remember, you know, you'll find a way to plug it in right every single time, right? It gives you a, a chance at getting it right every single time, okay? Now, when I do the math here, I have this square root, right, is the distance, and this is 5 minus 1, which is 4 squared, plus four, negative 4 minus minus, that's a plus right there, right? Negative 4 plus 1, negative 3, okay? And that's squared, right? Okay? And so what is 4 squared? 16. And what is negative 3 squared? 9. So what we have here is 16 plus 9, which is how much? 25. So D is equal to the square root of 25. Okay? Then we're going to learn how to break that down a little bit. Okay? Break it down a little bit. So, if I break down 25, and I use my primes, right? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on, right? 2's go into numbers that are even, right? That's our trick for 2's. 3's go into numbers that are, they add up to be divisible by 3. So let's look at 1, 5, uh, 6, right? What's 1 and 5? 1 plus 5? 6. 6 plus 6? There's 3 going to 12, and it goes into 156. It's that simple. It's a nice little trick for 3s. Okay? And think about 12. 1 plus 2 is? Is 3 going to 3? Yeah. So it will always break down into a number that's divisible by 3. And then 5, we have a nice trick too. What's the trick for 5? Five? 5 or 0s. Yeah, 5 or zeros. If it ends in a 5 or a 0, we're going to be all right. Okay, so with 25, I'm going to think about, well, does 2 go into it? No, it's not even. Does 3? Well, 2 plus 5 is 7. It's not divisible by 3. So no. Does 5? Yeah, it ends in a 5. How many times does 5 go into it? 5 times. How many times does 5 go into 5? Once. When you get to 1, you're done. This is prime factorization. Okay, you're factorizing these numbers. Now... Here's the cool part. You really have the square root of 5 times 5. There is a hidden 2 right here. Right? So every 2, you're going to trade for 1 outside. Okay? So there's nothing left, so it's just d equals 5 in this case. Right? If we do it here, I say, well, I, I'm going to circle my pairs. I'm going to write whatever I circle, oops, I'm going to write whatever I circle right here, okay? Whatever's left, well, there's nothing left. There's a 1, and I could write that times the square root of 1, right? I'll leave in the square root. The square root of 1 is 1, and 1 times 5 is 5, so we're good with 5, right? And so that's what, how we're going to do this, circling pairs, it's going to be a really nice way to break down your fraction, or to break down your radical, okay? Um, that is the distance formula.